Hello, Schwab's Drugstore. This is Harriet Nelson. Say, would you please include a couple of large bottles of Listerine with our order? Yes, please. It's just wonderful for keeping those colds away. <laughs> Antiseptic, Listerine toothpaste, and prophylactic toothbrushes present America's favorite family comedy, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. So settle back in your easy chairs and enjoy another delightful half hour with all the Nelson. Ozzie Nelson, of course, plays the part of the head of the Nelson household, Ozzie. And here is his lovely wife, Harriet Nelson, who keeps the family on an even keel. Hello, Harriet. The smiling young teenager we now see is David Nelson, older of the two Nelson boys and played by David Nelson. And here we have the youngest of the Nelsons, the little guy with the twinkle in his eye, Ricky Nelson, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Mr. Thornberry, better known as Ozzie's pal Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. And there are a couple more pancakes here if you guys are ready. They sure do taste good, Ma. Yeah, they sure do, Ma. Would you pass me the syrup, please, Rick? Yes. Boy, nobody can make pancakes like Mom. Nobody can eat them like Pop. <laughs> Just a second, young fellow. I think you're doing pretty well yourself with such a little guy. Well, I'll keep making them as long as you guys keep eating them. They sure are good, Mom. Well, that's what I like to hear. What's the verdict from dear old Dad? Well, evidently you haven't been counting, or you know that dear old Dad took on about five pounds of pancakes this morning. <laughs> I'll take another one right now. Can I have a couple more, Mom? Yes, you bet you can. Help yourself. You know, I really hate to admit this, but I can't take all the credit for these pancakes this morning. Well, all we did was eat them. Well, what I mean is I didn't exactly make these myself. They came already prepared. Oh, is that something new? Well, this is the first time I've ever tried to make them this way. You don't have to mix any pancake batter. It's already mixed for you. Oh. No wonder they, they uh, taste just a little bit different. Well, you mean you don't like them? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, they're fine. It's just they're not quite as good as the ones you usually make. Oh, really? Gee, I didn't notice any difference. Oh, no, no. Don't misunderstand me, David. These are fine. It's just that your mother makes pancakes that are even better than these. Well, maybe it's a syrup. No, no. This is the same syrup we always use. Maybe it's a power suggestion. The what? The power suggestion. It's like our teacher said. Somebody told you the milk was sour, you'd start to wonder whether it was or not. Oh, David, that's crazy. What do you mean? Well, who's talking about milk, anyway? Well, that's just an example. It shows you how milk can taste sour when it really isn't. You have to be pretty dumb to fall for that one. What's the power of suggestion? I got a powerful suggestion for you. No, 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 no. I can't understand about the pancakes. I made them according to the directions on the box. They were slow, huh? Well, it says here they should be feather-like golden cakes that melt in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, naturally, they have to say something like that to sell the stuff, Harriet. What's this about money? Where? Right here in the box. If you are not absolutely satisfied that Hasty Tasty makes the finest pancakes you have ever eaten, then return the unused portion, and we will cheerfully give you double your money back. Double your money back? Oh, boy, we're rich, Pop. No. Lucky we didn't like them, huh? No, wait a minute. Not so fast. <laughs> They're pretty good myself. So did I. Well, I guess we split the door, huh, Pop? Huh? <laughs> Ricky, you don't quite understand this. I said these pancakes were delicious. They were fine. It's just that your mother makes pancakes. They're so good that they're even better than this. And he's right, though, Pop. Says right on the box, they're supposed to be the finest you've ever eaten. Oh, well, David, you're not supposed to take those things seriously. That's just another way of saying the pancakes are supposed to be very good, which they are. You think they pay off, Pop? Huh? Oh, I imagine so, if you wanted to make an issue of it. I certainly can't imagine anybody going to all that trouble, though. The package only cost 47 cents to begin with. Yeah, but it says double your money back. Two sevens are 14, carry one. Two fours are eight. Hey, that's 81 cents. <laughs> are you kidding? It's 94 cents. Yeah, that's even better. <laughs> I'm sure there's more than 94 cents worth of trouble involved. Yeah, but they tell you to do it. It says so right in the box. Well, that's just standard advertising procedure, Ricky. You're not supposed to give those things a literal interpretation. He probably doesn't even know what that means. 
Oh, yeah? Okay, what does it mean, then? It means you got it and you're stuck with it. <laughs> I think all this talk is silly anyway. I'll bet if I hadn't told you guys about this, you'd have never known the difference. Just like I said, it's the power of suggestion. Oh, David, that stuff's a lot of bunk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, look, fellas, why don't you finish your milk? Go ahead, you too, David. Hey, Mom? Yes, dear? You think I could have another glass of milk? This tastes kind of sour. <laughs> Hi, Oz. Oh, hi, Barney. What are you bound for? Oh, I'm just going down to the market to pick up a few things. Well, I hope you don't mind, but I have a little neighborly complaint to make. Oh, what's that? Well, it's nothing serious, Oz. Just that I wish you'd keep those darn windows closed in the mornings. What's the matter? Does my snoring bother you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Just those darn pancakes Harriet makes. Oh, oh. Well, why should that make you sore? Well, Oz, it didn't really. It just made me a little envious. <laughs> So I immediately suggested to Catherine that she make some pancakes, too. Now, that was where I made my mistake. Oh, you mean then you discovered, lady, you really don't like pancakes? <laughs> no, no, I do. But you've never tasted them the way Catherine makes them. Oh, not so hot, huh? Oh, Oz, it was a terrible thing to do. But I actually had to sail a couple of them right out through the back window. <laughs> oh, so that's what it was. That's what what was? Well, uh, Ricky claimed he saw a couple of flying saucers. <laughs> You know, it's a lucky thing I didn't hit anybody. <laughs> See, I don't know, Oz. It's the strangest thing. But Catherine is usually a terrific cook, but she just can't make good pancakes. Well, there's quite a knack to making good pancakes, Darnie. Sure wish she'd find the knack. Wish she could make them like Harriet does. Yeah, Harriet's usually very good at pancakes, but uh, I must confess this morning's weren't quite up to her usual high standards. Are you kidding? They really smell good. Oh, yeah, well, they were okay. But see, she usually mixes her own batter. And this morning she tried some new stuff, the hasty, tasty pancake mix. You know, it's already pre-mixed. Yeah. Gee, I wonder if that's the stuff Catherine used. Well, I, I don't know. Like I say, you know, they were good, but they weren't quite up to the high standards, and they didn't meet the claims that the company made on the box. Oh, you mean one of those, if you aren't entirely satisfied, will gladly refund your money? <laughs> No, they went a little further than that. They said if the hasty, tasty pancakes aren't the finest you've ever eaten, we will cheerfully give you double your money back. Double? Yeah, that's quite an extravagant claim, isn't it? Well, if you ask me, somebody ought to take them up on that. Thorny, you're getting all worked up over nothing. Actually, they weren't that bad. Besides, the stuff only cost 47 cents in the first place. Well, Oz, I know, but twice that is, uh... 94. No... Please, Oz, no coaching. <laughs> Besides, what the heck can you do with 94 cents these days? Well, Oz, that's not the point. The money isn't important. There's a principle involved there. No, 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 Thorny. The whole idea is that these are just advertising claims. You're not supposed to take that stuff literally. Besides, as I say, they were, they were pretty good. Can you imagine somebody walking all the way down to the grocery store saying, your pancakes weren't the finest I've ever eaten, I want double my money back? And why not? Actually, you'd probably be doing the hotsy totsy company a big not favor. Not hotsy totsy hanky-panky. All right, whatever it is. They'll probably be going on for years making soggy batter, unless somebody has the courage to call them on it. Well, Thorny, I told you before they were okay. They weren't quite as good as Harriet makes, but they're okay. You said you were on your way down to the market anyway, didn't you? Yes, but I'm not on my way down to the market to ask for double my money back. You admitted yourself that their pancakes weren't as good as Harriet's. Uh, forget it, Thorny. Okay, Oz, be a coward. Shirk your duty. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, old boy. Oh, no, 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 wait. Uh, while you're down there, how about picking a box of that stuff up for me? Oh, you mean you want to try them and then not like them and demand double your money back? <laughs> <laughs> well, on the second thought, maybe you better not get any. I wouldn't qualify. What do you mean? Anybody qualifies. Well, let's face it, Oz. No matter how bad they are, they got to be better than those manhole covers Catherine makes. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Oh, that's okay. I'm in no hurry. Mm -hmm. Price of article... 47 cents. Come out to be refunded. 47 times 2. 47 times 2. 2 times 7 is... 94. 2 times 7 is 94? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 
two times 47 is uh, 94. Oh. Are you sure? Y yes, it is. That's not what I get. I've worked it out three different ways. Uh, what do you get? Oh, I get 56, 83, and 110. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find 94 is the correct answer. I'm rather familiar with that problem. So. Yeah. So it is. God, it's too much work. My first day on the job and I have to get involved in something like this. It's just too much responsibility for a new man. Uh, just what is it you're doing? Well, it's a very discouraging problem. Somebody doesn't like hasty, tasty pancake mix and they want double their money back. Oh, really? That's why I have to make three copies of all this and take photo stats and I don't know what all. It's just, well, if you pardon the expression, it's a darn nuisance. What do you mean? Frankly, I, I'm not suited to this type of work at all. I'm more the outdoor type. I like a job that keeps me out in the fresh air, something that's rough and rugged and... <coughs> <coughs> Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Somebody must have left the window open. <laughs> there was never any of this complicated paperwork when I was at the malt shop, I'll tell you that. Oh, yes, the malt shop. I thought you looked familiar. Was yeah. that the varsity malt shop? Yeah, and that was a very pleasant job, too. With all that ice cream around, I just started gaining too much weight. Oh, really? Yeah. I was getting hog fat. <laughs> I'm good shape now. Yeah. <coughs> you know, it's quite a coincidence you're mentioning about this hasty, tasty pancake mix, because on the way down here, I was talking with my neighbor, and both of us felt that the hasty, tasty company don't quite live up to the extravagant claims they make on the box. Now, wait a minute. You're not going to ask for a refund, are you? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. No. Good. No, I just came down here with a list of things my wife wants me to pick up. Oh. If you gather them together, I'll pick them up later on. Yeah, fine. Yeah. And for now, I think I'd like to have a couple of pieces mm -hmm. of bubble gum. Yeah, they're three for five cents. Well, I just want two. Only two of them? <laughs> I have to figure this out. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll take three. Bless you, sir. <laughs> well, I'll be back a little later for the groceries. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. Hey, guess what? I don't know what. Somebody returned a package of that hasty, tasty pancake mix to the store and called their bluff. No, really? Yeah, the clerk just told me about it. Now the company's going to have to make good. Oh, well, I hardly think a 94-cent loss will throw them into bankruptcy. Well, it isn't the money so much as the principal involved. I mean, after all, when a company makes extravagant claims, it's up to somebody to call them on it, I think. Oh, I don't know. It seems like an awful lot of trouble to me. You see, that's just it. People let things slide by because they think it's too much trouble or they're afraid of what people are going to say or they just don't have the courage of their convictions. Who was it? Did he say? No, I was thinking that on the way home. Wish I knew. I'd like to meet the man and shake him by the hand. Who's that, Pa? Hmm? Oh, hi, Rick. Well, I was just telling your mother. Somebody came into the grocery store down there and demanded double his money back. Didn't like the pancake mix. I just said I'd like to meet the guy and shake him by the hand. Honest, Pop? Well, sure. Put it there, old buddy. <laughs> you mean you were the guy? Sure. I keep telling you. I don't mess around, boy. <laughs> Ozzie and Harriet will be back in just a moment. He said that she said that he had halitosis. She said that he said it's true of some girls, too. He said that she said the answer was simple. Here's what she said to do. Try Listerine, buy Listerine. Keep breath fresh and clean with Listerine. Listerine is not just a mouthwash. It's a germ-killing antiseptic. And far and away, the most common cause of halitosis is germs. That's right. Germs start the odor-producing fermentation of proteins present in your mouth at all times. Listerine antiseptic kills germs that cause this fermentation. Kills them by the millions. 
Brushing your teeth doesn't give you this antiseptic protection. Chlorophyll and chewing gums don't kill germs. Listerine antiseptic does. That's why Listerine stops halitosis instantly, and usually for hours. That's why Listerine antiseptic averaged four times better than the leading chlorophyll products it was tested against. So if you want really effective protection against halitosis, no matter what else you may use, use an antiseptic. Listerine antiseptic. And remember, while you are guarding yourself against halitosis, you are also guarding yourself against colds and sore throats due to colds. Because Listerine kills germs. <laughs> Oz, I want to shake your hand. Oh, by golly, I want to shake both your hands. <laughs> Believe me, Oz, it's a real honor to have you for a neighbor. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Oh, now, come on, Oz, don't play it so cozy. You know darn well what I'm talking about. And I want to humbly apologize for ever doubting your courage. <laughs> Thorny, if you're talking about what oh, I you think... You know darn well what I'm talking about, Oz. And I'm real proud of the way you made that hinky-dinky pancake... No, 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 hasty tasty. Right. <laughs> I'm real proud of the way you made that company toe the mark. And I'll bet it's the first time anyone's had the nerve to call their bluff. Well, uh, Thorny, all this is very gratifying, but I think I should straighten out one little detail. Yeah? What's that? I had absolutely nothing to do with the whole thing. It was Ricky. <laughs> Ricky? Yeah, sure. He handled it all by himself. Handled the whole deal. I didn't know a thing about it. Well, then why have I been pounding you on the back and telling you what a big man you are? <laughs> That's a real chintzy thing to do. Now, don't give me the big blue-eyed innocent stuff. I think you try to steal the glory from a little boy. And your own son, too. For shame, Oz, for shame. Well, that's just the way I am, Thorny. I'm a cad. <laughs> well, I hope you're going to have the decency to let him keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will. After all, he was the guy who earned it. <laughs> Imagine that little son of a gun. Well, I still think he was right. Oh, well, technically he was, I guess. After all, they said if these aren't the finest pancakes you've ever tasted, and he liked his mother's better, so there you are. Well, yeah, there you are. He was within his rights. If that honky-tonky pancake company ever... Did you hear what I said, Oz? If the honky-tonky pancake company... Yes, I heard you. That's the name of the outfit, the honky-tonky pancake company. <laughs> well, anyway, I think Ricky was well within his rights. <laughs> Believe me, Mr. Nelson, I think you have an airtight case there. Well, uh, thank you, Counselor. Very good. <laughs> Oh, I uh, think I heard the mailman stop at your place. Maybe he brought some good news about the Hokey Pokey Pancake Company. It's not Hokey Pokey. It's Herky Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Corny. Uh, 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 Thorny. <laughs> Yeah, he was here a little while ago, but there's nothing for you. Well, that pancake coming, he sure is taking their time about it. I'm looking around to it after a while. Yeah, I sure wish they'd hurry up. What are you going to do with the money after you get it anyhow? I'm going to invest it. How can you invest 94 cents? I'm going to buy two more boxes of Hasty Tasty Pancake Mix. <laughs> hey, now, wait a minute. This can get out of hand, you know. Heck, you can make a fortune. It says right on the box. Well, that I, you I know what it says about. on the box. But after all, if you bought the pancake mix once and you don't like it, why buy any more? Well, how else am I going to get double my money back? <laughs> once is okay, but after that it gets slightly on the fraudulent side. What's this? No. <laughs> Ricky figures he's got a good thing going for him here on this pancake deal, and I was just telling him that once is enough. Once is more than enough. I just hope it doesn't cause us any embarrassment. Oh, I don't think it'll cause us embarrassment. After all, I'll just send him a form letter with the check enclosed. It's okay with me, boy. Of course, you're going to split with your old pal, aren't you, buddy? Are you kidding? The heck, it wasn't even your money in the first place. What do you want? I did all the work. Okay, cut it out, fellas. Hey, Mr. Nelson. Yes? And my name is Bailey, Alfred K. Bailey. Oh, oh, oh. I'm president of the Hasty Tasty Pancake Company. Oh, well, won't you come in? Yes, thank you. Uh, this is our sales manager, Mr. Crawford. Uh, Mr. Crawford. Uh, assistant, Mr. Witherspoon. Mr. Witherspoon. And Mr. Plimpton. Mr. Plimpton. And my secretary, Miss Twomley. Uh, uh, Miss Twomley. <laughs> well, you really shouldn't have gone to all this trouble. Oh, it was no trouble at all, Mr. Nelson. As a matter of fact, we were just passing through on our way to a sales convention when Mr. Crawford popped up with a very splendid idea that we stop by and pay you a visit. Uh, thank you, A.K. Uh, you see, Mr. Nelson, our business is 
built on satisfied customers. And if a customer isn't satisfied, we want to find out why. Oh, well, it isn't that we weren't satisfied with your pancakes. Oh, but you have to be completely satisfied, Mr. Nelson. Uh, pardon the interruption, A.K. We have a little slogan around the shop, Mr. Nelson. A customer who isn't completely satisfied isn't a completely satisfied customer. <laughs> Probably a lot of truth in that remark. Hey, if you don't honestly believe that hasty, tasty pancakes are the best pancakes you ever tasted, then by George, we want to know about it. Oh, uh, by the way, I have a check here for you. Oh, now, that isn't necessary. Oh, no, no, that's our agreement, and we want to stand by it. As it says on the package, we will cheerfully give you double your money back. Are we ready, gentlemen? <laughs> Here's your check. <laughs> Very sporting of you, gentlemen, but really, I wasn't the one who returned the pancake mix. You mean you're not Mr. Ricky Nelson? Uh, no, uh, Ricky Nelson is my son. Oh. Uh, just, uh, uh, Ricky? Yes, sir? No, here he is, right here. Uh, and this is my wife. These folks are from the Hasty Pasty Pancake Company. Uh, hasty Tasty. <laughs> this is Mr. A.K. Bailey, Harriet, the president of the company. Uh, how do you well, how do? You do? So, this is the young man who isn't completely satisfied with our pancakes, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, won't you gentlemen come into the living room? Oh, oh yeah, here, let me take your hat. You. you shouldn't go to all this trouble, Mr. Bailey. Really, the pancakes were just fine. Well, thank you, Mrs. Nelson, but we like to feel that every member of the family is really sold on Hasty Tasty. You see, we're constantly striving to improve our recipe, so naturally we're most eager to hear any complaints. Oh, well, I don't think you'd call this a complaint. Honestly, I think you're giving the matter more importance than it deserves. If I may interject a thought, A.K. Uh, yes? Uh, we have a little saying around the office, Mrs. Nelson. Any complaint's an important matter, but it helps our firm make a better batter. <laughs> oh, well, that's a very fine attitude. Yes, and we're willing to pay for it. If you don't honestly believe that hasty, tasty pancakes are the finest pancakes you've ever tasted, then we cheerfully give you double your money back. Ricky Nelson, here is your certified check for the sum of 94 cents. Gee, thanks a lot. Oh, just one moment. Uh, there's a Camry in the case, Walter. Yes, sir. Uh, would you mind if we snapped a picture of this, Mr. Nelson? No, no. Go right ahead. Thank you. Be delighted. This will only take a moment now. Let's see. Oh. Would you mind stepping right over here by the bookcase, please, Ricky? Yes, sir. Ah, that's fine. Uh, now, A.K., if you please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll be handing him the check. Oh, my, that looks fine. Now, big smile, Ricky. Hold it. There we are. Well, I think that about does it, except for one thing. I wouldn't feel right leaving here without making sure that Ricky was in there rooting for the Hasty Tasty team. Hey, uh, Mrs. Nelson, could I use your kitchen? Well, certainly, Mr. Bailey. Hey, fine. Ricky, would you lead the way? Hey, gentlemen. <laughs> usual procedure, A.K.? Uh, yes, yes. And uh, no offense, Mrs. Nelson, but I think maybe I can sell Ricky on our product. Now, Ricky, I'm going to whip you up the finest batch of pancakes that you've ever eaten. Gee, that'd be swell. <laughs> can I get you an apron, Mr. Bailey? Oh, no, no, I think I have all the necessary paraphernalia. You've got the short sleeves, A.K.? Oh, yes, Walter. All prepared. Here we are. Thank you. This is certainly very nice of you, Mrs. Nelson. Uh, how are you coming, A.K.? Oh, fine, fine. The best part of the hasty, tasty pancake mix is no fuss, no muss. Uh, everything all right? Okay, it's all set. Why, some teamwork, huh? Yes, it's a wonderful surprise. Hey, thank you, Miss Twombly. you on your organization. It's really a pleasure to watch you men in action. Well, thank you, Mr. Nelson. We try to please. Oh, uh, pardon me. Hey, Ricky, I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, do you like strawberry jam? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, strawberry jam. Now, uh, do you like chocolate ice cream? Oh, boy, that's my favorite. Yeah, I thought it would be. It is with most little boys. <laughs> uh, chocolate ice cream. Hey, you're a regular magician, Mr. A.K. <laughs> uh, how are we doing there, boys? Coming along fine, A.K. They certainly do smell good, Mr. Bailey. Oh, yes. Plimpton and Witherspoon are a sterling combination. Already, A.K. Well, good, good. Now, Ricky, get yourself all set for a hasty, tasty, golden brown delight. A real super production. Hey, put it right on here. There we are. 
Mmm, that smells good. Hey, Crawford. Okay, A.K. Give me ice cream, please. Ice cream? There we are. It's strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Good. Now the whipped cream. Whipped cream. Ah, Miss Twombly. There we are. Now, sink your fangs into that, Ricky. Well, Ricky, what's the verdict? This is absolutely the finest pancake I've ever tasted. Good boy, Thank you, Mr. Elkins. Thank you very much. Here's your money back, Mr. Elkins. Oh, no, no, you keep that. Gee, thanks a lot. Oh, say, uh, I, I want it to be all right if I had one of those. It looks delicious. Well, of course, it's a pleasure. There's plenty for all of us. Let's all have one. Here we are. Here you are, Mr. Elkins. Here we are. Here you are, Mr. Elkins. Here you are. Here you are, Mr. Elkins. Harvey and Harriet will be back in just a moment. Children love the fresh, lively flavor of snow white, minty Listerine toothpaste. So it's nice to know that no other leading dentifrice, no chlorophyll product, can do more for them and for you than Listerine toothpaste. Because Listerine toothpaste gives you Listerine special ingredient luster foam. Can help your toothbrush cut down tooth decay as much as 60%. Keep your mouth clean and fresh for hours. And look at the money you save. This thrift pack gives you not one, but two big 45-cent tubes for only 59 cents. That's right, 90 cents worth of Listerine toothpaste for only 59 cents. Listerine toothpaste is your best buy by far, so buy now. Hi, Oz. Oh, hi, Tony. What are you bound for? Oh, just down the grocery store. Did I come along? Well, I won't get involved in a big shopping session, will I? No, 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 nothing like that. Just going to buy some ice cream and some chocolate syrup and some bananas and some strawberry preserves and some whipped cream and some sliced peaches. Well, it sounds like you're going to have quite a dessert for dinner. No, 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 it's uh, not dessert. This is in the nature of a little experiment. I think I've discovered a wonderful way to get Ricky to eat his spinach. <laughs> uh, girl and her toothbrush. Sweetheart, toothbrushes have changed. Today, no other brush combines quality by prophylactic and the modern features of the new Pro 59. More bristles, thinner bristles three times more than old style brushes. More thorough cleaning on teeth and deep inside tooth crevices. More gentle. Pro 59 bristles are ideal for massaging gums. Don't get the old, get the new. The only toothbrush with these modern features and quality by prophylactic. The new Pro 59. Other styles at all counters. Buy Prophylactic. Next week, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky, will be brought to you by Hot Point Quality Appliances. Remember, look to Hot Point for the finest first. Frank Nelson was A.K. Bailey. The part of Mr. Plimpton was played by Ray Hike. Hal Smith was Mr. Crawford. Vera Marsh played the part of Miss Plumley, and Sterling Holloway was the grocery man. Don't forget that a completely different episode of The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is heard every Friday night on radio. Consult your newspaper for time and radio station.